That would favor Paez's right foot if that's where they did decide to go. And here's the strike from Roca off the wall and deflected in. The Charlotte Independence with a 1 0 lead here in the 32nd minute. Clay Dimmick is claiming it. There's nothing Ofek Antman can, could do. It wasn't the best struck free kick, but all it's got to do is hit a body and change direction. That's exactly what happened. Take a little look at here on the Activision LASIK replay. It was a decent strike. It looks like it came off the back. Perhaps of Mbuyu or Dimmick, as we see from this angle. Yeah, I couldn't really see who it came off of, but don't forget the Jacks will take this field again at Memorial Stadium in just over a week as the Northern Colorado Hailstorm comes to town. We'll get to that as much as attack from Cuega. This ball's behind Cheney, but he picks it up. Lays it up for Ramos, and it's in! Ozzy Ramos, what a strike! Christian Cheney with the layoff. Didn't look like there was much danger initially. Ozzy Ramos from long distance. Let's take another look at this on the AccuVision LASIK replay. Good work down the left from Bijev. Cheney surrounded. Ramos with a cracking strike. Not sure how much of a look at it Keegan Meyer got. There was tons of traffic in front. Either way, there's a hammer blow from Ozzy Ramos right before the half. Bijev was the first time tonight he's really had that much space down the left and he's been onside. Here's Mbuyu down the other end now, and it's 2-1, Charlotte! Both those goals brought to you by Devil's Logic Brewing. Two goals in the space of only a matter of seconds, and Charlotte regained the lead. That was just a poor clearance, and Ibarra once again with the vision, a lovely first touch by Mbuyu to knock it past Akin Lesotho and a quality finish past the out onrushing Ofek at. will be swung in by Velarde to the front post. Flicked on and in! It's 2-2! The first corner of the night for Fuego results in a goal. Not sure who it came off last. Looks like Bustamante is claiming it. In Charlotte. Let's take another look at it here on the AccuVision LASIK replay. It's a beautifully paced ball. Flicked on at the front post. And there's Bustamante to head it in from just, or was it BJ? from two yards out. Bustamante was claiming it. Perhaps we'll get a better look at it from this angle. Great pace on the corner. That was flicked on by Bustamante. And it is Bijev from three yards out. His first USL League One goal. Had two goals in the cup midweek. Being brought in here with some fresh legs. See if Charlotte can hold on to this one point or even snatch. Three late ones as the header blocked and in the goal! It's Shalom Duty again! His second goal of the season, first in League One. And those three points are within reach for the Jacks. Here on the AccuVision LASIK replay. It's a great corner. Initial header was from McNeil. It was blocked in front, and there's Duty to clean up the mess and give the Jacks a 3 2 lead. He was just hanging around at the edge of the six yard box looking for scraps, and that's exactly what he's found. Lardy lumps it ahead, headed away by Roca. And as far as Chavez, Meyer clears well, punches well, hooked back in, and it's in! Bijev, would you believe it? The Bulgarian magician pulls the final trick out of his hat in this one. So their first ever League One win was Chavez that kept it alive. Meyer did what he had to do and what an amazing goal by Bijev. Only him would even try to attempt that. Meyer was out of position, couldn't get back into his goal in time. And it had to be perfect from Bijev as it was. Acosta's despairing jump in their cup match earlier this week. They play again tonight, 8 o'clock Eastern in the Midwest Derby against Union Omaha. Here's Des Dukes looking to take on Bentley. Nice trip to Ulysses now on this far side. Brought down, strike, and it's in! Ethan Vanacor Decker has the first USL League One goal for the Northern Colorado Hailstorm. Des Dukes with good work again. Across from Ulysses, Ulysses, excuse me, it was a good first touch and 
Blue past the head. So we're gonna have one earlier that caused a little bit of havoc. There's another one in there. Flicked out on the front post. Tozaki with the header and in the far corner. Emiliano Tozaki. Second goal of the season. And the kickers have tied things up. It's amazing how many times this man finds space. It's a nice throw by Orny. Flicked it out the front post and Ulysses wasn't close enough to the sniper. And the Argentine ties things up here. Showing for Pulisic is Skelton sitting on that yellow card wearing the captain's armband. John Bradford saying that Pekka will also wear the armband at times. It'll stay down this time for Anderson. Anderson is in. Anderson, great ball! And how about North Carolina FC? Garrett McLaughlin has given the home team a 1-0 lead. Anderson does everything right here. You think he's going to drive for goal. He just cuts it back on a plate for McLaughlin, who just calmly slots. It's not the, probably the, the hardest strike he's ever put in the back of the net, but it was too much for the defender to keep out. And Frustration setting in, but they will not go away. Chattanooga will keep plugging away here. North Carolina will be good for them to try and get a second here, but back coming by the Red Wolves. Carrera feeling the pressure from frame, it gives it up. Ortiz into the game! Oh! Wonder goal! Galazzo! 1 1! Unbelievable goal from number 13. But he picks it up in no man's land here. Little shift to the left, back onto his right and just whips it into the top corner. Pulisic hanging in the air to try and get that outstretched arm on it, but it's an absolute worldy of a strike. Left fingertips, he's almost there, but it's that's an unstoppable strike. Mensingen, Mensingen. He's got a man open on the other side. Mensingen finally gives it up. They wanted the flag, Espinosa denied. Still loose, Ortiz battling. Top of the 18 goal. Chattanooga, Espana, who just got the yellow card, has made it 2 1 Chattanooga. Yeah, and there it is. Pulisic palms it out. It's bouncing around. They can't clear the lines. It drops to Espana and it flicks off a North Carolina defender and is steered past the. Got his head on it. Ortiz. Boy, that time, Somersault had that right foot covered. Terrera, high lofted ball, it's in, oh my! Unbelievable shot, the volley, the finish, and Chattanooga is rolling, Lombardi's made it 3-1. And Carrera just hooks it in there, gets a little deflection, headed out, and just on the top of the box, He's waiting, Lombardi, sets himself perfectly. Great technique, watches it all the way. And right off the laces of that right boot into the bottom. That's quite a bit of havoc for Des Moines on Tuesday. It's caused some again a moment ago there. Ball clipped first time into the box. It came off one foot and then it slammed home. And Union Omaha has the opener in the 15th minute. It's the first professional goal for Hugo Kamatani. An All-American at UNO, just as he was in his college days. The question was, could he translate that to the pro game? Well, so far, so good. Had a lot of dangerous moments against Des Moines on Tuesday, missed some chances that he expected to do better with. Saw it broke just off the toe of Meza, but fell right to Kamata. Waiting a long time for this spot kick. There's the referee's whistle. Jepson steps up and buries it. Very well done, sending New Who the wrong way. It's 1-1 in the 36th minute. See New Who pointing to his right, daring Jepson to put it that way. Jepson went the other way. So well, Akoff maybe wanted to hit that first time. It wouldn't sit down for him. Heavy touch, then served back into the box and headed in. And Union Omaha has the lead back right before halftime. JP Skears with his second goal in two matches this season. 
and Phil Brino came for it, had to get there, did not. It's a big mistake by the goalkeeper. It's a big goal for the Owls just before the half. Madison not winning those initial headers in their own box repeatedly in this first half. It hadn't burned them yet until just now. You see Skears taking a forearm to the side of the head from Brino as well. What a good service this was by Connor Doyle. I thought that first touch was a little heavy, but it ended up setting him up perfectly. Hacked away by Alex Touche. Big bounce and staying in play for Gephardt, who's about to be subbed off. Delivers one more cross, falls in the box. Strang scores! Jeremiah Strang levels the match at two. And it came from the cross from Derek Gephardt, who is just about to leave the match, and Union Omaha wishes he'd left already. He didn't miss this time. Again, Union Omaha not dealing with the initial cross. What a good finish. That is a great finish.